And today we're up on the roof and we're taking a look at the skylight that's just giving all sorts of grief for the homeowners here. So one thing I noticed first off is this is a Velux skylight, so it's a good quality skylight, but they've used their own flashings on here. And they use their own flashings, you can see, you know these little holes, everything that's all the way through in the bottoms here. This won't be leaking, you got your shingle underneath it. When you take a look at stuff like this, look at these corners, wide open, ready for moisture to get up in there. Come over onto this side here, same thing, flashing starting to rip. They've got exposed nails through their flashing here. So rather than using the proper Velux flashing system that would have went with the skylight, they just made their own because they saved a couple bucks. Now you have all these problems, just junk. But the thing that I really want to point out here is, take a look at this bit of condensation you're seeing on the top of the sky, or the bottom of the skylight here. It doesn't matter how good your skylight is, you're probably going to end up with a little bit of condensation in there. That's just the facts. This is over a kitchen. If there's high humidity in there. You're going to get that. They did not wrap their membranes on the curb down and out. So any of this condensation that gets in here, look what it's doing to this curb. Just totally destroying the top of this curb here. Now they're going to have to take and pull this all apart and reflash this. Further, they're going to have to take and do a bunch of work on the interior because the contractor who did this roof the flashing gets like 130 bucks. Yeah, sure, it seems expensive compared to, you know, a couple of pieces of flashing on your own. But it would have solved all these problems. If it had taken and wrapped their membrane the way it should have been done, none of this moisture would have been getting into the building. It would have all just wicked out and down, and that would have been the end of it. So just because somebody says they're going to change your skylight doesn't mean it's the only thing they're going to do with it. There's a lot more to a skylight than just the glass. You've got to take a look at everything as a whole. How are these shingles tying into the flashings? How is the skylight sitting on this curb? This is a little bit big, you know, like this all plays together. Anyways, if you're having any questions about your skylight or you're wondering why it is it's starting to condensate or you're getting issues, please give us a call. I'd be glad to come take a look, help you along with it. Thanks for watching.